Hi, I'm Milton Chang of Bonsai Heirloom. I did about uh, nine months ago a garden tour and that one uh, video was very, very well received. And so today, uh, because of the magnolias in full bloom, I decided to um, do a garden tour, a bonsai garden tour again. And I just redone this piece, this part here. I planted these um, calla lady, which if you notice have dots, these are much bigger flowers I actually got the uh, seeds from the wild in California mountains. And the flowers are much bigger. And look at how big the calla lily is. And then I planted these different kinds of narcissus. These I think are tate -te -te -te, means it's very tiny. This is the red bird, uh, azalea, that's really have a very five, almost a four months long blooming season. And then so this walk leads up to the bonsai court. And I think I like to point out how, luckily, how ugly these sticks are. And this is actually a tree of peony, uh, one of the, uh, well, actually it's the national flower of China, but you can see it's beginning to bud out. Uh, it will be absolutely beautiful yellow flowers hanging uh, in, in probably another uh, month. And I'll show you that uh, when it's a blooming. So and please enter my bonsai court. And I'll describe each tree uh, briefly uh, to introduce you again, and you can compare to the video maybe six months ago uh, for, to see the, how the trees progresses uh, throughout. So this is my, uh, really the oldest, uh, lo uh, longest in cultivation of a prostrata juniper uh, in a box that I turned into a cascade. And I've been working on it, it's gradually filling out with a new soil mix that I use. Uh, I showed this a few weeks ago. Uh, that's a, a Korean hornbeam. And that's a uh, Jap uh, Japanese black pine. You can see I, I cut it uh, in September and these are all budding out. Soon it will be much, much fuller. You'll be probably twice as full uh, in uh, really a few weeks. And this is my favorite cascade. You can see it's uh, really interesting, like just like hanging over the side of a mountain. Uh, that's made out of um, Catlin elm. The leaves are very small and glossy. And this is a, a seedling. Oh, I would say about 50 years so ago, I collected from Rochester, a Salkova tree, Chinese Salkova. And you can see it's getting really old. Uh, it, it was growing the ground for maybe 10 years before I dug it up. And this is a uh, Sierra Juniper I bought at an auction last year. I couldn't tell you the origin of this one. I hope it's legit. But you can see all that is is a piece of growing. The rest is dead. I thought that was uh, really like at uh, the side of a mountain. And I, pay, I probably got carried away, pay a little bit more than I should, but because I like the uniqueness. But I will work on that uh, in a few weeks to show you uh, the progress. Now, um, this is a popular material now in for bonsai. It's the Pro Procumbus nana. Actually, I found it to be a very difficult tree to do because the trunk never thickens. I bought this at an auction because I know how long it takes to grow that trunk. It's probably 30, 40 years. Uh, so you buy a little bonsai uh, that's Procumbus nana. Looks nice, a lot of green, but really will never thicken for a very, very long time. And this tree I dug from my cousin's house when she moved out of uh, the University of Irvine campus housing. And there was a uh, prostrata uh, juniper she planted, oh, I would say 25 years ago in the ground uh, in a, from a five gallon can. And that's how big it grows. The juniper, uh, prostrata juniper with a lot of water and fertilizer grows very rapidly. And this tree, I orient this way because I'm going to repot it this way to create a little bit more depth and maybe tilt it up front a little bit more like this. So I will do this tree, repot this tree in a not too distant future. This is also a very old um, California juniper, again, dug with uh, someone dug with uh, Harry Horao. Uh, when I got it, there was only a little foliage up on top. I brought these branches down to fill it up and I will be working on this tree uh, 
in a few weeks to, to, to carry it to the next level uh, with the pad. But since I replaced it with my new soil mix, it's grown a lot. It's just like, it just took off. Before that was really bare. This is a, um, a Japanese black pine. You can see, again, I, I clip it about s September. You can see these are all coming out. So it'll be really quite full. I want to thicken it. it it's uh, got a lot of foliage. I cut it way back and I build it back up again. Uh, I prefer to see the trunk, uh, to expose the trunk. This is again a 25-year-old uh, prostrata juniper. I grew it in the ground when I first moved in the house and uh, I dig it up to, uh, to make it into bonsai. Well, this is the attempt I tried to uh, uh, layer this tree. Uh, it was a tree I brought back from Taiwan. Uh, in those days I can, but that didn't make it. So I would carve this out and make this the apex. And I'll probably tilt the tree back a little bit or maybe even cut this one off. But um, this is an incredible uh, Selkova from Formosa. You can see the leaves are very, very tiny. That's a very desirable tree. And this is uh, my 80 to 100 year old pomegranate that I've been working on. I just pruned it this morning for this show. Um, anyway, I uh, hope this year I'll get some fruits and I'll share with you if I get some pomegranate. Well, I did this uh, last week and I reoriented it. And so that's the tree and you will see how it leaves out. I did this one maybe uh, two months ago and I want to gradually fill out, but used to be a double trunk, but this is all dead, but that's okay. Uh, it shows the age. Uh, this one, you can see a few blossom and the beginning of some fruits. This is a uh, um, Washington Hawthorn. It will have little red berries. But um, as I clip it, uh, the, the branching gets tighter and tighter so that the, the flower will be more dense eventually. So this, I think in, two, uh, in next year, we'll have nice uniform blossom everywhere and it will be a nice, beautiful tree. Uh, I started this from a little sapling about 40 years ago. And um, that's how long it takes, but you can see the age, it's just uh, really quite nice. Now this is the uh, uh, elm on the rock that I, my granddaughter asked for it. I should have pruned out a little bit more today, but you can see uh, Catlin elm, it's all uh, rooting out and I spray some moss powder on it. You can see it's coming out everywhere due to the rain. And if you see closely, uh, the brown spots are actually uh, in the bon every bonsai. Uh, these are actually chicken manure pallets. They are really great material, uh, great fer organic fertilizer uh, because uh, chicken manure doesn't have much salt. And then the uh, uh, moss tend to grow really well into the, the, the manure. This is a cork Japanese black pine, which is really quite desirable. You can see all the corking. This little tree could very well be over 50 years old. Um, if you like corking, that's an that's a interesting feature. Uh, I bought it at an auction um, from a, someone that gave up his entire collection, uh, donated 400 trees to uh, Oakland uh, Lake Merritt uh, Bonsai Museum, and I was very happy to have it about a year ago. Uh, this tree, I've been working on it for maybe five years. Uh, someone from um, uh, Southern California brought it up and I bought it. It's a dwarf uh, twisted, or well, not quite twisted, but it's uh, called twisted dwarf pomegranate. It's probably very, very old, it takes a long time. They take them out from an old building, old houses, and turn it into a bonsai there, like a clump. And I did severe pr uh, cutting back to build a shape into this. I hope to get some pomegranate, little pomegranate someday, and I will share that with you. That, that will be a, my joy. And this is the uh, uh, also a 25-year-old uh, um, ju uh, prostrata juniper, which I uh, dug up from my garden, and I've been working on that for probably 15 years. And this is my uh, favorite. Um, it's a California juniper. I bought it because the guy, uh, these branches are dead. 
so he couldn't stand it. He was willing to part with it. And I cut it way back and redesigned it. I cut it way back on the foliage. You can see it's coming out. It didn't have the junior uh, juvenile foliage because I didn't over fertilize it. And it's still scaly, even though I cut back a lot. And that's the uh, uh, cork elm, uh, Japanese cork elm. And this is my favorite 25 years now, 26 year old. Uh, Trident maple, I started from a seed. As part of my design, you can see this is the triangle. So I want this to be out a little bit more so I will let these grow gradually. So maybe in a five year time frame, it'll be exactly my ideal where these are shorter and this is long and this is the triangle. And this is my cork elm in a cascade shape. I think it's nice, got the depth and the feature when the leaves out in a, uh, I tell you what, I should really do another garden tour in about three, even another month or three months, uh, because everything will be nice and green. And I'll give it a quick prune, it'll be nice. I say in a three months time frame, I'll give you another garden tour for you to see the progress. And this is a, 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 a prostrata tuner from Mrs. Hatanaka uh, in, from uh, Anaheim. Uh, she was willing to part with a uh, soda to me maybe 40 years ago, and I've been working on it. Again, a lot of these branches are dead, but that's fine. You know, she used wiring. I'm sure she used wiring there, but these are, uh, after I got it, I never wired it. I just let it grow naturally. So uh, these are my better bonsai, and I thought I'd give you a tour. I have plenty more in the back, which I will rotate. Uh, maybe give you a tour in the back uh, in the next few weeks after I get it organized. So I thank you very much for watching my video. If you think, uh, if you have some specific question about my trees today, please feel free to write me. And again, uh, write to our website with your email address so that we can uh, send you announcements and so forth. But also give me suggestions as how I can improve our tree, my trees because you may see an angle that I, I missed. And I will give you my tour in the back uh, to show you my other trees uh, in the very near future. So please stay tuned. With that in mind, I thank you and uh, click like if you think my videos are informative and subscribe to our channel so we can notify you of new uh, developments. And stay tuned, see you next week.